think calories are the thing. Eat 2,000 calories of bananas a day for a week and 2,000 calories of steak for a week and see what happens. The assumption that flexible dieting doesn't take into account the difference certain foods have on energy balance is moronic because it does. And if we're going to compare 2,000 calorie diets, it would make more sense that we compare foods with similar macronutrients. Energy balance is the sum of the calories you consume and the amount of calories you burn on a daily basis. Bananas are rich in carbohydrates, while steak is predominantly protein based. And this can absolutely, indirectly and directly affect your energy balance. Let me explain. The four jars here represent your metabolism. I'll leave a description of each of these in the caption below. Now, if we took these separate elements and added them together, it would create the sum of your TDEE or AKA your metabolism. Now let's pretend this jar is the metabolism of someone who ate 2000 calories of bananas. And this jar is the metabolism of someone who ate 2000 calories of steak. Now, since it costs two to three times more calories to metabolize and digest protein compared to carbohydrates due to the thermic effect of feeding, this person would directly burn more calories than this person. And since protein is more satiating than carbohydrates and consuming them might cause this person to eat more overall. And when comparing these two individuals together, the energy balance of the person who consumes a high protein diet would favor less energy overall. And that's not my opinion. Research consistently shows that a high protein diet promotes increased muscle gain and enhances fat loss, resulting in a noticeable improvement in overall body composition. So and the great calorie debate continues. What a great video by Sheridan Sky Fit. Brilliant video explaining how 2000 calories of carbs from bananas affects the body very differently than 2000 calories of protein from a steak. Someone commented on my reaction video to Sam Sulek last week, claiming that calories absolutely are the same in terms of energy and thermodynamics, regardless of where they come from. 1,000 calories of chicken is exactly the same as 1,000 calories of donuts. But as we've just seen, it absolutely is not exactly the same. This is a very misunderstood topic, especially by people who don't have a degree in nutrition or who don't have a lot of experience in experimenting with the way that they eat and being able to demonstrate that they can produce a good result with body composition as they age. Which brings me back to the point of my original video. Be very, very careful which influences you follow to get nutrition advice and especially health advice for longevity. Because the biggest fitness influencer in the world, Sam Sulek, seems to know absolutely nothing about health when it comes to nutrition and especially the long-term effects of what he's eating now. Now I'm 46 and I'm in way better shape than I was when I was 26 and largely because of the way I eat. I eat three high protein meals a day following a loose modified Mediterranean diet, which basically means I'm eating whole foods from a variety of different sources. So high protein, but also lots of good fiber and good vegetable sources there as well. I actually did a video on a day of my eating when I was working to build as much muscle as possible last year. You can watch that video there if you click or tap the screen. And if you've got any thoughts on this or any questions, hit me up in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in that next video.